welcome to the Reluctant Chef. Today I am making chicken curry lettuce wrap. So I wanted to show you a couple tools in the process that you might not have seen. The first is our salad choppers. It is a dual bladed serrated scissor that I hold backwards and we call them chicken choppers. Um, and we use them for chicken, we also use them for pulled pork, and you can obviously use them for fajitas or for salad. So I took three chicken breasts yesterday and I put them in my pressure cooker and I put them up on the little wire rack and I sprinkled them with some curry and I ended up cooking them um, on slow cook instead of pressure cook actually because I had time and I wanted it cold. So I'm just going to chop up the chicken into pieces and this is great if you're grilling a bunch of chicken if you want to do a lot of prep ahead for the week you can grill up a bunch of chicken breast and then um, season it with different seasonings and put it on top of salads for the week or you can chop it up to make chicken salad or you can do egg salad with this so we need about um, I think it's two cups of diced chicken so I'm gonna do two of the chicken breasts today and then I'm gonna um, save the rest for later but you can see how easy um, chopping the chicken is hi guys so when you guys watch a video live comment below that you watched live and if you're watching it as a playback make sure you say playback and also there's gonna be a secret message in my videos and the secret message is if you private message me that you get uh, 25 bonus points into my raffle giveaway so today's bonus point is salad choppers super easy the first tool that we're using so um, let me move on so I'll show you what we're doing so the next one is the manual food processor I put some celery in here and um, you just pound down on the handle and the more you pound the finer your celery chops and I'm going to use it also for a green onion and we're going to add some mayonnaise and some sour cream into a bowl separately and we're going to add the curry to this mixture so it's really easy to um, mix up both of those with our scoop and spread. So the regular size scoop and spread fits inside a mayonnaise jar. The large scoop and spread does not. So we're using about um, a half a cup of the sour cream. And then we're going to use a quarter cup of mayonnaise. So let me get a different spatula. So we make a mini mix and scrape as well. So let me show you the size difference between the two. And if you guys haven't seen my tour of Sue's kitchen video, which I usually put into my virtual parties before the party begins, because it's a long one, it shows you all the tools that I use on a regular basis in my kitchen. So when you have 20 minutes, because it's long, but everybody who's watched it has said that it's been really helpful because I show you everything from what I use for breakfast, what I use for lunch, power tools, gadgets, um, just really the most used tools in my kitchen. You'll also notice that I'm using the one cup prep bowls. We use those a lot in my home. And we're gonna use our um, adjustable measuring spoon. They come as a set of two. They go from an eighth of a teaspoon to one teaspoon, and then the other one goes from one teaspoon to a tablespoon. Good morning to you guys. And then they come apart for easy dishwashing. So we're gonna use ground clove and I'll post this recipe um, for you guys uh, let's see ground clove how much clove oh no no clove in this one this is from my other recipe sorry I got another one that I'm prepping for later today so we need garlic and we need curry so a teaspoon of curry in with this and um, as I said I already curried the chicken a little bit so I might do three quarters of a teaspoon on this so that we don't do too much um, and then garlic, so I'll get the garlic press. Totally slacked on that. Okay, so garlic press. You don't need to peel your garlic to use your garlic with the Pampered Chef garlic press. You can just put it in with the skins on it so that your fingers won't smell garlicky. You just take one clove out, stick it in here. Um, you, I use two hands and um, I'm starting to get arthritis in my thumbs. So one of the things that you might consider doing is um, cutting the edge off of the garlic on both sides. It'll make it go through the garlic press easier. Um, curry mayonnaise, a little bit of salt. We're going to put um, a little red onion in our manual food processor and then I'm going to add a little bit more celery and then I have a green apple here that we're going to chop up and we're going to put it all together and then we're going to eat it on bibbed lettuce. 
So I'll post the recipe below. Remember, if you're coming into this now, don't forget, private message me the word salad choppers and you get 25 bonus tickets into our raffle. So welcome to Sue's Cooking, the Reluctant Chef. I look forward to working with you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I'll post this recipe shortly. Thanks for watching.